Hello everybody and welcome back once again to another night of astrophotography in the backyard. Tonight we are imaging a large chain of galaxies located in the Virgo constellation. Tonight we are imaging Marcarain's chain. My name is Trevor and you're watching Astro Pilot. Okay everybody, so it's officially spring. Tonight is my one day off for a while from work. Uh, I've missed out on a couple clear nights, but I'm back and ready to shoot some galaxies this galaxy season. Spring is in full bloom. It's about It was about 75 degrees a day. It's gonna be around 49 tonight. So a little warmer temperatures, won't freeze the hands anymore. Um, but tonight we are imaging Marcarain's chain in the constellation Virgo. It is part of the Virgo supercluster. It is a cluster of galaxies located roughly from 50 million to all the way to almost 100 million light years away. Large cluster of galaxies. I'm gonna image it tonight. Never imaged it before. The majority of the galaxies in this picture are uh, elliptical galaxies, far away elliptical galaxies. There's a couple spirals in there somewhere, but uh, a very diverse picture with all these different galaxies located in one frame um, so as usual we're shooting with the modified Canon XSI William Optic Xenostar 61 on top of the Star Adventure and let's get this night going the sun's setting right now uh, it is 630 and it has a little bit ways to go so we're gonna stake out here tonight wait for it to get dark polar line frame up the target it's gonna be clear all night no moon until around 3 a.m. so we are good to go join me and we're gonna see how tonight goes So you might have seen this little modification here. So I know a lot of you guys already saw my video on the counterweight mod for the Star Adventure using a ball head here, but uh, that still works well. I'll probably still use it every once in a while. But I, when I, whenever I get my ASI Air Pro, I'll need that ball head to mount it to the other end of the counterweight bracket here on the declination bracket. So I had to create something else. So what this is is a really big, socket uh, that w literally was just laying around in the garage and I was able to use it. it weighs about 13 ounces so it's heavier than the ball head and I just have it bolted in to the end of the counterweight shaft and it is secure that gives me some more counterweight abilities uh, instead of having it sli slid all the way down it gives me some room to play with but uh, this is my alternative to the ball head counterweight mod. I could do a separate video on how to make this, but all it is is a bolt and a nut holding it uh, securely together, and then I just screw it into the uh, end of the counterweight shaft. So, very simple. Um, but yeah, this is a another counterweight mod I've come up with. So, if any of you guys haven't already done the ball head mod, um, maybe you can get yourself a big socket like this um, this is really old I don't know where you can get these but it's like a specialty uh, socket head here so but it works out for my setup here so I'm just gonna keep using it this way for now on
Okay, guys. It is dark. I'm up and running. I've done my uh, polar alignment and sharp cap. I framed up the target. It was relatively easy to frame up. Uh, it was easier than I thought it would be just because the uh, faintness of the galaxies and the location. But it actually turned out pretty easy to frame up. So uh, I was happy with that. I'm doing three minute exposures at ISO 800. That seems to be the sweet spot with galaxies with my setup here. Um, but yeah, everything's going well so far. I had some guiding issues to start out with, but I just selected a different guide star and that seemed to fix the problem pretty good. Um, but I'm up and running. It's about uh, 9 o'clock now, so I'm going to shoot for the rest of the night and I'll connect it all to my remote desktop inside and everything's going well. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. I want to thank you guys so much for all the support. Can't believe we're going rolling this fast and all the uh, support, support I'm getting with this YouTube channel, all the comments, all the likes, all the views, all the subscribers. So uh, I'm going to call it a night and I will catch you in the next video. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button to keep updated with my uploads. Stay tuned for the final image. Hope this is a good one. I'm going to be processing it in Adobe Photoshop. And until next time, Clear skies, and thank you for watching Astro Pilot.